Hello and welcome back. Someone emailed me recently asking me if I could help her to uh, reduce the amount of cleavage in her wedding dress photography. Um, she asked me to make a tutorial for this. She even said that she would give me an image of her to try to reduce her cleavage. Now that being said, this is not an image of her. I chose to just try to find one online. And uh, I do have to apologize that it was actually kind of hard to find one uh, that had um, a lot of cleavage in a wedding dress that I could use commercially here on YouTube. So, um, <clears throat> but this is what I found and this one should work just as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get started and I'm going to do that by uh, copying my background layer. I'll press command J to do that. Um, or you could just take that layer and drag it down into your new layer button down here and that would also make a new layer. I'm going to double click on it and name it base. I'm going to go ahead and make another copy. I'll just show you how dragging it down into the new layer button works too. And I'm going to call this cleavage. <clears throat> um, I'll go ahead and make this layer invisible. I'll go ahead and make the base layer invisible as well. And on my cleavage layer, I'm going to click on this little icon down here and make a clipping mask and select the eraser tool from my toolbar. At the top here, there's a drop down. Go ahead and select uh, the hardness on the drop down and select it to about uh, eighty percent or so. I'm gonna just select eighty percent because I know when I get in a little bit later to these areas, I'm gonna uh, want a little bit harder brush, and I want the size right now to be a little bit larger on my brush because I'm gonna do a lot of erasing. So I'm gonna go around two hundred and fifty pixels, maybe a little bit less. It depends on your image though. So what I'll do is go ahead and just click and erase all the areas besides the cleavage area of this picture. <clears throat> this is why I have a hard brush. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, I press Z on the keyboard to, to get my magnifying glass tool to zoom in. And I can press E right now to get my eraser tool back. Um, I can press the left bracket to shrink my eraser tool or the right one to enlarge it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to just click this area right here once, and then I'll hold down the shift key after I click once, and I'll just click around the cleavage area, being a little bit careful. Uh, what holding down the shift key does is it just connects the dots, essentially. And I don't want to lose anything, so... Um, this area, I actually want to undo that. I'll press Control z real quick. I want my brush to be a little bit, um, well, let me just finish going around here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make my brush a little smaller by hitting the left bracket key and just make sure I do a halfway decent job here. If I wasn't doing a tutorial, I'd probably spend a little bit more time doing this, maybe enter into quick mask mode and do some erasing that way. And, um, you can look up a tutorial on how to erase using quick mask mode. It's kind of interesting if you're at all into um, learning that. Um, and I pretty much am keeping the shift key down. I'm lifting up a little bit every once in a while so that I can um, cut some things out. Now, I also want to basically cut out this area, but I want a lot softer of a brush to do that. So I'm gonna take my drop down again. I'm gonna go down to zero and I'm just going to actually not keep a ton of this area so I'll just click here once and click a few times to just basically get the very top of the dress make my eraser tool bigger make my hardness back up to 80 or so I could even do 100 but I don't want to do that right now and basically what you've done, if you zoom out and I'm pressing command and the minus key to zoom out, you have just a little sliver of the dress here. Maybe a couple, uh, well, if the dress were real, maybe like a few inches of the dress. So you can't even tell that I did that if I um, turn my base layer back on. But if I <clears throat> select my cursor tool, I can uh, move that layer up a little bit now. And you'll see I can show or hide as much cleavage as I want. Okay, so if I wanted to hide all the cleavage, I could move it way up to here. I'd have more work to do because I have some overhang in this area. 
but uh, I don't want to completely hide the cleavage. I want a little bit to show. So I'm going to just move it back to about around where it was. <coughs> and I'll just, uh, kind of subtlety is the key with this kind of thing. If you had a lot of cleavage showing, I could see you moving up uh, quite a ways though. So um, I get that. And actually, on that note, I will go ahead and move it up quite a ways. Do something like this. Okay, so um, I don't necessarily think that that looks great because we're hiding maybe too much of the shadows in, in this case, but I'm going to do it because I feel like the person that emailed me might have a lot of work to do and she might end up with some stuff like this, so I'm going to do it so that I can basically illustrate a point. So what we can do now is just start blending this area back in. The right side looks pretty good. The left side doesn't look great. You can see a little bit of duplication in areas like this. So I'm going to try to fix up some of those things that I just mentioned. So I'm going to click on my uh, layer mask, select my eraser tool. Um, I hit the left bracket to make it smaller there. You could also make it smaller here. But I also want my hardness to be zero. I want it to be very soft because I'm going to blend that right back into a curve and that looks pretty good now if I were I think what I want to do is actually set my hardness pretty hard and go on that same line just to make that hard line like it is all the way around the rest of the dress okay and now that solved that overhang problem already <clears throat> I'm done with that next, next thing I need to do is uh, fix some of these duplication areas like uh, right here you can see that that moved up a little bit and everything on the dress all the way along is just moving up a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer call it clone because that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool to get rid of some of this duplication so I'm gonna get this stamp tool on the left side uh, my opacity is set to kind of low right now and I actually might keep that kind of soft so that, well, no, I'll make it 100%. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> uh, make sure all layers is selected here, by the way, but I'm going to go ahead and just take a sample from a different part of the dress, press Alt and click to get a selection, and some place that you know that it's duplicating, like right here, you can just click and add some of that texture or a different texture from a different part of the dress into that area. And since the brush is really soft, it should blend really nicely. So I can just do that in a couple places along the edge here. And then that should work really well. Now, depending on what your dress looks like, that may or may not work. Um, but it should actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take that back. Your, that should really work in, I think, I can't think of any case that that wouldn't work. Um, uh, please comment below if uh, if you think that I'm wrong, and I could be. Uh, I'm a little wishy-washy on it, but um, this is the only thing I can think of right now to kind of fix that uh, that problem. So um, that's basically it, and this is the easiest, uh, best way that I know how to um, cover up some cleavage on on an image. So <clears throat> uh, I guess one last thing that I could show you would be if you wanted to add some of that cleavage back. You could select both of those layers and with your cursor tool, just uh, bring that down a little bit. And it should basically work uh, still in kind of a similar way. You can see that since I did some erasing here, um, that uh, kind of shows through, but that's okay too. Okay, so I think I'll leave it right about here. We'll show just a little hint of cleavage and I will zoom out just a little bit, maybe right there. I'm going to throw these two layers, since they're kind of grouped together, into a folder. And with them selected, I can just hit this folder tool. And uh, you can see it even says group one. Uh, basically, what I can do now is show you uh, where we started from, which is here, and uh, where we went to <coughs> in the end, which is kind of dramatically reducing the amount of cleavage there. So I hope that this um, helps the person out that emailed me. Um, I, I think that it uh, it looks pretty good. You can see some of the lines change a little bit, but uh, that's just going to have to be the case if you're uh, if you're doing this um, kind of modification. So, 
Um, like I said, I hope this helped you. I hope this helps out other people. Please like me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, please, 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 please like this uh, YouTube video. That's where I it helps me out the most. Um, and thanks for watching and watch again.